PlayStation has the opportunity of overtaking Xbox by a larger, 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 larger lead. But there is a reason why PlayStation hasn't been doing everything the right way. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and we are back with another video. We are talking about Xbox. We are talking about PlayStation. Now, in this video, the reason why I want to talk about why PlayStation has the opportunity to basically keep knocking Xbox down is because Xbox has shot themselves in the foot. Not only did they cancel multiple studios from a company that they just bought in Bethesda Studios, not only are there rumors that Active Engine Blizzard isn't even thinking of putting their games on Game Pass like Call of Duty, which that's gonna hurt Game Pass. Not only that, but they also, also, remember this, they also said they would never raise the prices for Game Pass. Well, now there's a rumor going around that they're gonna raise the prices to Game Pass. PlayStation has everything right on the platter. They have, they were given a silver spoon right now by Xbox. But there's a reason why PlayStation won't take the opportunity and knock Xbox down. PlayStation and Sony has been leading the gaming console war for years with great games, great consoles, and with Xbox in a downward spiral and Microsoft coming in and taking over cost-cutting Xbox, Sony and PlayStation right now has the opportunity to hit Xbox where it hurts and show why they are the number one studio, gaming console, whatever you want to call it. With a showcasing of the future of PlayStation 5, but I'm afraid that Sony is focused on catering to something else, catering to the woke losers. Instead of the gamers who buy their stuff, instead Sony is out here trying to destroy beloved communities like Hell Divers 2, censoring beloved games that people are waiting for like Stellar Blade. I hope that Sony wakes up and takes the opportunity to knock Xbox down even further. But I'm afraid PlayStation is just going to focus on catering to the woke journalists, to the woke losers, because they think that is what they need to do instead of focusing on what the gamers want the actual people that buy your games buy your merch those are the ones that you should always be catering but as you know nowadays every company thinks they have to cater to the diversity to the inclusion to companies like sweet baby inc that are ruining these games and they want to put they want to put the blame on the gamers but they never want to take the blame because that is something they never learn. Companies like Sweet Baby Inc. will come in and kill your franchise. Look what they did to the Suicide Squad. Xbox thought they could become the Netflix of gaming and they've shot themselves in the foot. PlayStation, you have tried to ruin Helldivers 2. You tried to ruin Stellar Blade. You're lucky those games were created very good and people are still willing to play them. If you were Xbox and you released games like Redfall, you would shut down companies, studios. Wake up, Sony. This is your opportunity to take the reins and become the greatest 
console studio ever. But they won't. They won't. And Nintendo, we we definitely know Nintendo is technically number one. But I'm afraid Nintendo might be heading in that direction too. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I just leveled up, I thank God.